Well, hey YouTube, it's in my gardener, and it's pretty windy out, but I uh, just thought I'd give you guys one more look for the last time uh, this season, the garden. Um, I, I just wanted to end on a very positive note. Uh, this year has been extremely successful, and uh, I've learned so much, and so I just wanted to show you guys we're going to be up here for one last harvest before we tear all this down and redo it next year. And uh, we got some changes and we're pretty excited about the changes. We're also uh, leaving a lot of it a surprise for you guys so you guys can uh, come along for the exciting ride as it was this year. Uh, it's definitely really cold. Uh, I think it's about, it has to be probably low 50s. Out uh, the sun does make it warm, which is nice. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's nice and brisk, and um, and yeah, we still got we still got some beautiful tomatoes on here. Um, obviously, you know they're very good size. This celebrity variety has been just a great great producer. Uh, it's it's really pulled through with a lot of nice tomatoes. Um, you know, I, I definitely have found the varieties that will be growing next year, as well as some other test varieties. So uh, if anyone has any varieties that they think uh, would, be, would be deserving to be in this garden, any heirloom varieties or whatever, let me know. I'm always, I always love to try new varieties. And, um, and just, uh, as you can see, I mean, these celebrities were a very good, uh, were a very good addition to this garden. I'm very glad I, I gave those a chance. Um, and then there were some that didn't make the cut uh, for next year, but that's okay. I mean, it's a learning process. Beans are a definite do this year. Uh, I am so glad I put these up along the fence. Um, next year, we'll start them a little bit earlier. We'll also maybe give them a little more protection because the deer came around here and, and ate them. But the, the beans up here did phenomenal. Um, you know, I, uh, I have... I have a fair amount of beans that I'm just still getting, even though the season is pretty much over for everything, I'm still surprised at what I am getting. So I'm very pleased with the production on those. Peppers was a huge success. Eggplants I probably won't end up doing next year. Um, next year, one thing I will tell you guys is I will be upgrading my, my uh, staking system to uh, bigger stakes. I have some over here that I purchased just to hold these lines up. But as you can see, these are a much, much larger stake, like probably about three times bigger than the stakes I'm using. Um, and these are just, these are, these are beasts of stakes. So we're going to use these next year, all of them. Uh, we're going to take out all these small ones. Um, and these ones will probably either just uh, be saved for emergency sake or, uh, <coughs> or we are going to just, um, uh, you know, scrap them or give them to a friend or something. So. Um, I know some people that could probably use them, so we might end up just giving them to somebody else that can use them when we upgrade the system. Uh, because, like I, like you see here, uh, this this pile of tangle uh, is due to the fact that these posts just literally could not withstand the weight of all the tomatoes. Uh, it was totally unpredictable, um, and uh, and actually. <laughs> I, I never came through here and, and clipped off blossoms. I just am letting things do what they want to do and letting nature run its course. Uh, and it's, there are still producing tomatoes, crazily enough. I mean, they are still producing quite a few tomatoes, so they're gonna do what they're gonna do, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, probably keep the plants in the ground that much longer. Um, so yeah. I just uh, I wanted to thank you guys so much also for for coming along with all of the episodes up here. I'm really really pleased uh, with the way things have turned out up here. This is a really beautiful bicolor tomato, by the way. That's a uh, hillbilly variety. It's cool. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I um I also wanted to say that I uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick tip before I let you guys go this year on tomatoes. Um, if you if you reduce the watering to your tomatoes uh, as the season ends, a lot of times your tomatoes will get uh, 
they'll get smaller, but you can speed up the ripening process actually by um, by coming in here and, and reducing the watering. And, uh, and so, that one was just junk, I just tossed it. But you can, you can actually ripen them quicker and speed up the process by kind of, uh, by stressing the plant out a little bit and forcing it to condense its sugars and stuff. And a lot of times, you'll also hear a lot of people say that you wanna, um, that you wanna cut the tips off to force energy. That's, uh, that is your, your, uh, your opinion you can use your judgment on that. I typically don't because anything that's putting out leaves is going to be producing energy for the plant. Uh, yeah, you know, it's producing flowers and, and it'll most likely produce fruit that will never mature in time. Uh, but, but you know, I really don't worry about it because I've had such a successful crop already and I've gotten so much out of this garden uh, that taking the time, I mean, if you have like one plant, one or two plants, you might want to come through here and take off some of the flowers um, leave the leaves though but for me obviously I wouldn't be worth my time obviously to come through here and pick off all of the flowers that would take over a day and it really would not make that much of a difference to me because I've already had such a successful garden that um, I'm very pleased with also uh, the the one thing that we did notice is that the weed tarp uh, it made a great difference for walking on obviously you don't see a whole lot of weeds coming up through here but um, the one thing that we did notice is that uh, the weeds, the weed seeds in the um, in the uh, horse manure were very, very big. Uh, as you can see, I mean, like that's just like one mass of weed. And and anybody knows that when you're growing vegetables, weeds are just a competitor for water and a competitor for nutrients. So. We're also going to probably try to devise a plan to reduce the amount of weeds next year and uh, try to increase the success rate even more so than it was this year. So um, I'm, I'm just uh, just adding some, some little tidbit, tidbits of information for you guys and also kind of filling you guys in on plans for next year so you guys aren't totally left in the dark. But like I said, I will definitely be doing a... Uh, a microgreen series over the winter, so you guys can look forward to that. A uh, whole how-to series from seed to plate. Uh, and then I'm also going to be doing um, a, uh, I'm going to be doing a series on tomato starting again. I'm gonna show you guys the, the tomato varieties I'll be starting, and that'll be sometime in February, so you guys can look forward to that. Also, I do have, coming up, in a week or so, I have the revealing of the biggest tomato contest winner. Either way, I will have the reveal in about a week. When uh, when the 1st of October rolls around, I will have the winner announced. Um, but the, uh, the custom t-shirt that they're winning might not be finished by then. So, um, and plus I still don't know who, who's winning it because it's still open and, I, and I'm not going to make any assumptions just yet. So since it's a custom made t-shirt, it'll be probably about another week before I actually have the t-shirt made. Uh, but I will have it made up promptly, so it should be, it's gonna be exciting. Um, so yeah, that's everything I think for now. Uh, just stay tuned you guys, because I will continue to put out episodes every week. Um, it, uh, like I said before, you know, it might not always pertain immediately to to uh, to the immediate situation that you're having in the garden, um, but it will definitely be information that you can use beneficially later on in your uh, in your garden. So hopefully you guys will tune in. I really really appreciate you guys tuning in for uh, for my garden updates. And again, I thank you so much because I believe so much that uh, the success of this year's garden was was greatly attributed to how much you guys stood by me and uh, were great great supporters of everything that I've done and I'll hope you uh, still stay tuned for next year's garden because it's going to be very exciting with the plans we have. So with all that said, this is at my garden reminding you to grow big or go home and I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.